Hello YouTube, Hampus here. Uh, this video is the quickest and most spontaneous video that ever been produced in this house. The setting is uh, super fast. Uh, I'm almost late to work, but I need to film this one because um, last Friday, uh, me and uh, Daniel Blumann, Blomqvist uh, had a kind of a pipe meet after I got off my shift uh, Friday night. We had a couple of pints and uh, smoked some pipes. A really awesome. And looking forward to doing that more often here in Stockholm with Blumann and of course some other pipe smokers. And we exchange, exchanged the, the, some kind of gifts to one another. And I was blown away by his generosity. A whole care package. So this is this is not a jabo in that sense because I've already opened it because I couldn't help myself. Uh, so this one, this video will contain contain me showing some of the gifts that I have received this weekend. The care package from Blumann and also a huge shout out, a huge thanks to Smokey Dan. I commented one of Raw Bill's. Um, a, a cool bearded gentleman uh, across the pond, uh, Raw Bills, um, his like top five uh, tobaccos uh, of 2016. And I mentioned, uh, I wrote a comment uh, describing that I haven't uh, smoked either of them. Uh, and where to Smokey Dan com commented on my comment as well and said, Well, I will send you some. And I was like, yeah, of course, if you want to send some samples, I'm, I'm all for that. And what did he send me? A huge fucking care package from the Great Britannia. And I'm blown away. So this is me, in no particular order, showing what I got this weekend. Because I'm truly blown away by the, by the generosity. I will start with Roman's package, because that's one that I got first. 18 of... 1972 Flake Dark Kendall Samuel Gawith and the smell of it it will bring up quite a punch so thank you a uh, two gay Raijin uh, in a my own blend tin I smoked this one uh, when he gifted it me uh, it's a really nice one really nice one and a MacBaron Golden Ambrosia, quite a hefty sample, smells delicious as well. Uh, what else? What else? Some Frogmorton on the town, uh, really interesting. I've, I like the Frogmorton cellar, so that will be kind of a cool thing. And he gifted me some Squadron Leader as well. This one I actually smoked yesterday. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. It's kind of a uh, easy going, uh, medium bodied, medium flavor, medium Latakia, medium everything. An easy going everyday smoke, which I really enjoy. Oops, sorry. A sample of the Danish tobacco shop's own blend with like vanilla bourbon. Smells like an old lady. <laughs> Should be interesting. Thank you. And the last one was like a um, I can't remember if it was the black cherry. I think so. The black Peterson black cherry. Or if it's just the package and it was Samuel Gowitz like cherry vanilla mixture. I have to ask him again because I can't remember what he said. So so if that wasn't enough with all the tobacco, because that's a lot, like that's like two tins and a man, like one tin in uh, different samples. Like that wasn't enough. He actually gave, gave me a heads up before telling me about this little package. And this is why I'm blown away by the generosity. That's the third time I said this, but it's gonna I'm gonna tell you guys more of it as well, how generous you are. Uh, 
Sorry about the speediness in this video because I'm in a hurry. He said to me that he got a pipe from Henrik Rydberg because he wanted to buy a uh, reverse calabash poker pipe from him and he actually had one made that had some kind of design flaws if I uh, can say it that way uh, that he gifted Blumann. Uh, he smoked it and bought another one from Henrik Rydberg so now he was passing this along to me Ta-da! Rusticated Polka Reversed Calabash The thing that's made this one that, that he d didn't want to sell it uh, is that he strengthened it up the chamber with some acrylic chamber tubing I think It looks like that anyways to make because the walls were quite thin But I've smoked this one a few times afterwards and it's one hell of a smoker it's like a Cumberland acrylic stem, uh, looks like wood almost, and it's the best pipe that I ever had. It's just oh, not only by the looks of it, but also smokeability. I will post some pictures of it as well, the lighting isn't that good. But a small little poker, sits great in the mouth, sits flat on the surface and nice rustication and smokes wonderfully so huge thanks to Daniel Blumann and also Henrik Rydberg for doing a lot of awesome pipes the second package that arrived uh, a few days ago Monday it's Wednesday today um, that I wanted to do a job on but I couldn't hold myself so it's from Smokey Dan, the one and only Smokey Man, the Smokey Dan. First of all, I actually got a <laughs> a package from him uh, from him a few weeks ago because I won a not I didn't won uh, I came second in one of his giveaway competitions, um, and I did I recorded a jabo, but I screwed up big time. So it didn't end up on YouTube. So I'm going to show it. Gonna show you now. He um, he sent me the Peterson of Dublin Sherlock Holmes um, pewter uh, Tampa. So that was the second prize that I won. So I'm showing it right now. You, I think you've seen it. Metal pewter Sherlock Holmes smoking a pipe Tampa. Huge thanks. And now to the grand prize, <laughs> the grand prize of um, uh, friendship at least. I mean, look, I'm all sweaty because I run around like an idiot before I sat down. Sorry about that. He s said to me in the comment that I ho that he would send me a couple of samples. Mm, yeah, right. You all know how that works. First of all, when I open it, I was like blown away by this generosity. One tin of Foundation by Musico. Musico. The, the Makahua, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, a good medium, strong, burly blend, strong and chocolatey Malawiwa. Malawi, sorry, burly. Forms the base of this blend, mixed with a little red Virginia, Louisiana Perique, and a Virginia white burly cube cut. It's open. I mean, he haven't has I don't know, a couple of bowls of it, so it's nearly full. Uh, huge, one hundred gram almost full. Thank you. It smells delicious. An unopened tin of Viking. Viking Denmark Eric the Red Eric the Red is an amazingly rich and fragrant combination of mellow burleys sweet and tangy Virginias and a slow steamed green river black Cavendish topped with a zesty and a robust cherry flavor I'm looking forward to this because but I won't open it because it's unopened thank you like that wasn't enough hard and home black house Marquee series pipe tobacco Latakia based blend with Virginia's Orientals dark fried Kentucky Perique and a bit of unflavored black Cavendish So sounds amazing Thank you three full tints uh, 
Cornell and Deal NG99. I have this sample. It smells amazing. I have no idea. I have to research before I smoke them with this. What the blends actually are. This is one of the the ones that he gifted me as well. The samples, the, the Penzance. Penzance. Need to smoke that as well. Some Cornell and Deal Habana Daydream with cigar leaf, I think, in it. Sounds cool as well. And does it even end? Cornell and Deal Big and Burly. This one smells freaking amazing. Mm, big and Burly. Big and Burly. This one, GLP's Virginia Cream, also. Smells fantastic, sweet, creaminess, and a bit of smokiness. I don't know if it's from the other ones, but it smells amazing. And one that I'm really stoked about, the Balkan Blue, uh, formerly known as Blue Mountain. Quite a sample, right? And least but not least, Last but not least, I mean, I'm super stoked, I can't even speak. Five sticks. I'm not a cigar smoker, but that's because I've only bought like over-the-counter shitty cigars. So after starting this pipe smoking journey, I think I have uh, more appreciation of this the cigars. It's like one rel relajado, I don't know, relaxation one. Like one bombs away, one Medici, five years of age, Robusto, and two sticks of this Sons of Anarchy Redwood Original. So this one I will enjoy along with the other tobaccos. With my amount of pipe smoking, this will last me the whole fucking year, no doubt, because I don't smoke that much, but all these tens I will I have to share with some buddies as well because you pass it along that's what you do so this is me showing off the awesome gifts from two uh, really good friends of mine thank you Daniel Blumann awesome we need to hang out more and Smokey Dan I will have to try to catch you before you sail away to the the great US of A. So uh, I really need to go over to the to Wales and uh, have a few pints with you before you leave. So I will have to be scheduled this summer, I guess. Well, this one was a Speedy Gonzalez video. I hope I don't uh, didn't ramble too much, but I wanted you to see. The generosity of the YTPC. I mean, I'm speechless. So, uh, pay it forward, give gifts, receive gifts, be humble, be nice, smoke the pipe, and we'll see you on the next video when I'm not that stressed out. See ya! Peace!